personally, Doja, I don't forgive you because you never offended me. Hey, what is up everybody it is your girl Mia Lachey welcome to my Chanel oh dear 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 I'm gonna be nothing but completely honest in this video with you guys I'm honestly just gonna dive right into this whole ordeal talk about it and give my stance and opinion on it now you don't have to agree with me at all whatsoever and I know I will offend a lot of people but at the end of the day I have an opinion just like everybody else has an opinion that set aside let's just go ahead and get into it huh I know like I just know like come here now I know y'all aren't trying to cancel somebody in the midst of a pandemic and police brutality. There's so much other stuff in this world to worry about than someone like Doja Cat. But let's get into it. So for those of y'all who don't know who Doja Cat is, Doja Cat is a rapper slash pop artist. Why don't you say so? If you ask me, she's more of a pop artist, but I think she does both flawlessly so we love to see it for those of you who don't know doja cat happens to be a very questionable character okay she's very different than what we've seen before yeah bitch i'm a cow bitch i'm a i'm not a cat i don't say now bitch i'm a cow i'm talking even more different than cardi honey and, and cardi different but Doja's pretty different and she's come under fire recently for a few things so she dates white guys so automatically when people found out that she only dated only she never even stated that she only dated white guys but when people found out that she was with a white man as her boyfriend they went off and they wanted to cancel her then and there now if you ask me, I don't think you should cancel someone because of that. And it, it's, it'd be different if she said, I don't like black men. I will only date white men. You see, you, you see where the difference, but she never said that. She never, they never pulled up the receipts. When it comes to that whole ordeal, they wanted to cancel her then and there, but it never actually did happen. So then we move on to the next thing. People have recently found out that she has been racist and she's been very problematic and just very questionable but like i said she's a very questionable individual anyway but the things that people are accusing her of she was in a chat group called tiny chat with quote unquote white supremacists now the reason why i say quote unquote is because honestly there were never any receipts for me for all of the T channels that I watched, all of the channels that I watch in general that talked about the situation, there were never any receipts to prove that these men were white supremacists. As far as I'm concerned, someone just made up that this group of men that she was in the chat with were white supremacists. Now, I'm not going to say she didn't say problematic stuff because she did. When she was in the chat room, she, yeah, just rolled a clip. Easy and loose. Let's go to the oh. end. Okay. Only two. Yes, daddy. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. Her shirt reminds me of a baby duck. Her, her shirt is like a. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I mean, I get that part. I'm not gonna excuse that part because it was really weird. Was it racist? No, not necessarily. It's one of those things where like the n-word okay just to take it there real quick when it comes to the n-word no one should be using it but if you're black and you happen to be using it then you really shouldn't be using it around non-black people if you don't want them to say it 
and she was in chat room and she said that around those people and you see where the problem lies it kind of gives them the initiative and you can actually tell in the video that the people are actually quite shocked that she said that and they were like oh my god like you know what I'm saying so there was that and then they wanted to pretty much cuss her out bless her out send her you know straight hell everything like that because she stated that she does not like her 4c hair now this is where i had to just kind of make a video on this because i don't i i can't let people just go on and on about stuff when the, there's literally in the words of Kourtney Kardashian, there are people dying, Kim. <laughs> like, guys, there are people dying, literally, for beautiful melanated people gone, okay? That's what we should be worrying about. But since y'all want to worry about Doja Cat, I'm going to debunk every single thing. Y'all wanted to get her for not liking her 4C hair. Trying to finger comb it. Good luck trying to put a wide tooth through it. The first couple of minutes. Jesus Christ. Why even God was like, let me give this bitch 4C hair just so that she could go bald. You know what I mean? Okay, you've seen that. As you can see in the video, she clearly states that she does not like her 4C hair. You, you see what I did there? She doesn't like her her oh you see that beautiful h word her 4c hair i don't think we should ever knock someone for not liking their 4c hair i think the part where black women could have canceled doja cat would have been if she said and i quote oh my gosh i hate my 4c hair Ugh, everybody who has 4c hair is bald is ugly they can't manage it they look awful if she said that cancel her cancel her but she never said that those words never came out of her mouth. Instead, she was like, I hate my 4C hair. God cursed me with 4C hair because I'm going to go bald. Yeah, you know, you know. So with that whole ordeal, that's the part that I personally just don't buy. And I don't accept when it comes to this. I'm personally calling it fake outrage towards Doja. I don't even want to say fake outrage. I just want to say unnecessary outrage towards Doja. Next, somebody said that she claims, and I know what y'all are thinking, show us the receipts, Mia. I personally can't show you receipts on this one because I don't have any, because I can't find any. Hmm, what that tell you? Somebody said that Doja doesn't like her 4C hair, but she's glad that God at least made her light skin with a big butt. And it's just like do you have proof of this and okay even if you do have proof you really gonna cancel somebody over something like that like yes i get the colorism but she all she said was light skin with the big butt she didn't say light skin better than the dark skins she 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 didn't she didn't so i don't think the canceling was necessary there lastly there was a tweet that went out about her saying that she hates the arab people at the gas station and she wished they would go back to their country and blow stuff up she come out about it years ago and said that that was not her and that it was a fake tweet i personally think it's a bit of a reach but at the same time if it does look like it came from your account but then at the same time you know people are really good with technology nowadays and super good at photoshop so it's just kind of like Ugh. with that part it's a little it's a little tricky but everything else is a no-go it's a no-go when it comes to the cancel bus so she won't be getting on the cancel bus for this she won't be getting on the cancel bus for this at all i'm gonna send the cancel bus on its merry way and uh, Doja just won't be riding that bus, period, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and say this, and I'm gonna be very brief on this, simply because it is none of our business. Her dad happens to be Nigerian or something like that. I know he's of African, he's African, but I don't know if it's Nigeria. 
but he's really like famous over there and she's never had a relationship with him and so a lot of people are saying oh like they're literally diagnosing her and they're like oh you know this is what happens when black men aren't in the picture da 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 da, da when the father's not in the picture and honestly I'm not gonna go ahead and knock some of that because psychologically it does make sense it does add up the math is most definitely there however it really and truly is none of our business what her relationship is with her father and I don't think that's something that we should be sticking our nose into which is why I made that very short sweet and to the point because I really truly don't think it's any of our business it'd be different if like she didn't have a relationship with her father and she was like all black men you know what I'm saying like if she just straight up like never want anything to do with a black man again in her life because of her father and she stated that I mean one that's her prerogative but then we have evid solid evidence okay and we would know psychologically what's going on anyway but we don't we don't we're not psychologists we're not doctors we're not analysts like we're not and honestly it's none of our business I think the only time that we should cancel somebody is when we have evidence we have physical evidence can y'all say it with me evidence 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 if you got the evidence a a a the evidence a a a the cancellation will stick a a a evidence break it down on evidence evidence sorry but y'all get what i'm saying you need the evidence if you don't have cold hard evidence that actually sticks get out of my courtroom <laughs> get out that's the way that i feel she came out about the allegations she pretty much addressed it all you guys she said that she has a right not to like her own 4c hair and she does she most definitely does you can't make someone like their hair how are we gonna knock someone for not liking their own 4c hair regardless of the fact that they didn't say anything about anybody else with 4c hair but we're gonna knock them for hating their own hair and then on top of that, there are people in the black community who don't even like their 4C hair. Like, I know that people wear, like, weaves and wigs and stuff like that because they want to grow their hair. You know, protective styles. I get it. I'm wearing extensions. I get it. But at the same time, there are people who do wear their hair under a wig because they don't want to deal with their 4C hair. I've heard it time and time again on the internet and in person. So I'm not going to act like it doesn't happen. So therefore, she will not be getting on the cancel bus because of that. Like, we're not going to be a double standard here. Next, everybody wants to clock Doja for saying that she's a black woman and people want to consider doja a black woman i'm about to hurt feelings i'm about to hurt feelings Ooh, i'm about to hurt feelings today i'm gonna hurt your feelings doja's biracial i know i know i know i know Oh, indeed I know people never want to admit it but she is a biracial woman what does that mean for those of you who just don't seem to get it she is black and she is white she is not just black and she is not just white she is both she is both so no she's not a black woman she is a biracial woman mixed however you'd like to say it without being offensive I wish people would get that part through their heads because then all of this just would make so much sense. Doja come out about it and she talked about it and she talked about how she's allowed to hate her 4C hair. She's allowed to date any type of man that she wants to because they're attractive and she went on to say that black men, white men, Mexican men, Asian men, Latino men, stuff like that. I said Mexican or Latino. I'm sorry. Y'all know what I mean though. So grouped all the different kinds of men, even though there are so much more. 
so much more grouped all the different kinds of men and was like if I want to be with them it's because they're attractive so once again she won't be getting on the cancel bus because she never flat out said I don't date black men I only date white men what happened is this is what happened because I'm about to read you I'm about to read you and you're not gonna like it you went to Twitter and you dug and you dug and dug with your little internet shovels and you saw that Doja has only ever dated white men. But does that mean that she only dates white men? No, 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 no. In fact, I believe there's a little word that likes to be used. I'm just going to go ahead and throw out there. Preference. That's her preference. Get over it. You have a preference. I have a preference. We all have a preference. Okay. The issue comes into play is when you're putting your preference above others to uplift your preference and knock every other person that's not in your preference down. So real quick, I'm just going to give a quick little lesson in preference here <laughs> for those of you watching. If I date a white guy, Okay, I'm with a white guy, silently, right? Okay, no problem there. Okay, this is when it's not okay. I'm with a white guy. Oh my gosh, I just love white men because uh, black men just suck and they're just nothing and they don't have jobs and oh my gosh, they cheat and they do this and they do that and they're ugly. They don't look like the white men. You see where the issue lies? The issue lies in the knocking down of the people who are not in your preference to uplift your preference now that that lesson is over huh, doja came and addressed everything and i'm very happy that she addressed everything because it was done so publicly she didn't just go with the initial pr apology and the only reason i say this and everybody's saying this but the reason i say this is because i am a pr student and personally it's what i wrote like it's very textbook okay whoever her pr team is <laughs> kudos because you did it but i think that they should make a textbook where like it doesn't look pr i don't know i don't know just a suggestion but what I'm trying to say is her PR team wrote an apology and it sounded very textbook okay Doja did not just hide behind the apology from her PR team that is when I can clap for the queen and I respect things such as that she came into the camera and she owned up to everything and I think when she, you own up to everything publicly like that, so much more respect can be gained from that. Personally, Doja, I don't forgive you because you never offended. I want to go ahead and state something that I saw from one of my favorite YouTubers, Chrissy. She had mentioned that everybody was wanting to cancel Doja Cat when in reality, this wasn't even the black woman's fight. You want to know why? Because black men were initially just upset because she didn't date white men. And one thing that I did forget, I'm sorry, this was a huge, huge, huge part of it all. Doja had a song called Didn't Do Nothing. And apparently the Didn't Do Nothing song, um, people equated it to white supremacy and back to a really horrible case um Sandra Bland about like four years ago I think and pretty much they were saying that Doja was like anti-black with the song and everything like that people tried to interpret it on Twitter Doja came out and talked about that too and she was like that's not true that's not what the song means I did it because people were getting on my nerves and I was getting back at them now I still personally don't know I'm not going to sit here and say one side is true and one side is false, but I will say this. One side feels a bit like a reach, you know what I'm saying? Things can be interpreted, you know, in the craziest of ways. But with this, Doja came out and said, unfortunately, I'm going to be that person where it's like, okay, they come out and said that this ain't it. So I'm going to believe them for now for now I don't think that we should totally just be like all right okay so whoop -de doo like that's the end no I think that we should still maybe keep an eye on her from the side and personally with me I don't think that I will but I do think if it bothers you just silently keep an eye on her if she does any more crazy things 
then yeah, go ahead and call her out on it. You know what I'm saying? But till then, until you have solid evidence, I don't think that it's worth a trial and jury. I just personally do not. And I don't think that she'll be getting on the cancel bus for this one. I also don't believe that either. Personally, the cancellation was never going to stick, okay? It's as if you were putting her in jail and sh her body was clad in, like, silky butter. Like, she was going to get out. Like, there was no way that this cancellation was going to stick. And as the judge and jury, I... <sighs> that we rule you not guilty okay like I'm just over it at this point I don't think this doja cat thing needs to be that big of a deal when in reality it was originally the black man's fight anyway you know so and she didn't say anything problematic about black women she didn't say anything problematic in general about black people regardless of anyone that I may have offended with this video. I do want y'all to take a lesson from all of this. If you don't listen to anything else, take this lesson from me. When someone is being canceled, do your research and figure out the facts and the context clues for yourself or else you're going to find yourself canceling everybody who doesn't even need to be canceled. Why is this important? Well, for me, when I found out Joja Cat was being canceled and the thing she was being canceled for automatically, I was like, oh God, like I love Streets. Streets is my favorite song by her. I love it. And her album's not bad either. So I was a little heartbroken. I was like, I want to listen to Streets you know and then I was like wait a minute and I looked into it and I was like this ain't even worth not listening to streets for like I'm going to go back and I'm going to listen to streets in peace and y'all ain't gonna do a thing about it like I just want you guys to do your research and figure out if someone should be canceled and don't just automatically jump on a bandwagon and cancel because it's not healthy it's toxic okay cancel culture is not toxic that's not what's toxic what's toxic is bandwagons that's toxic so yeah that's pretty much all I have to say I feel so good I feel so good that I've like just released my concerns on this doja situation like i don't even think it's something to be worried about when there are literal people getting killed out here in these screws okay like it's insane it's literally insane so that is all i have to say doja if this is your official hearing the court rules you not guilty the cancellation bus will be leaving and you will not be on it that's all I have to say. All right, guys. So this is the time of the video where I'm supposed to be like, like, subscribe. <laughs> I'm not your mother. So I'm not going to tell you what to do. All I know is if you like the video, you know what to do. And if you like me, you'll subscribe. Although I doubt a lot of people are going to like me on this simply because I'm a very unpopular opinion when it comes to this Doja situation. But I as a person in general have to stand in my truth so before you go you guys remember to always stay inspired break the mold and to be unique and with all that being said mimi love you out hey,